Religious fundamentalists hate freedom. They hate freedom. They see freedom as sin. They see it unholy as the road to hell. And this is why religious fundamentalists, terrorists, do what they do. They believe that by blowing themselves up and killing people that somehow they're going to scare the shit out of people from being free doing the things that they want to do not connected to religion just to be free and that's why we can't stop terrorism we can slow it down I guess but as long as there are freedom loving people and free countries then we're always going to be targets for religious fundamentalist violence so they think that they're doing a good thing that they're motivated uh, their God their religion that it's holy and just so what can we do well I think the only thing we can do is to keep criticizing religion. And we could do it in intelligent ways. We do it with science. See, you can't stop these people from blowing themselves up. But eventually, you can teach these people to not want to do it. I mean, you're talking about a long time. You're talking about a long time and a lot of education, many generations, but... That's really the only answer. I mean, you know, you can be vigilant and, and turn people into the cops and, and try to make sure people can't buy bomb building stuff. And, you know, but if you really want to stop, people have to stop themselves. And, um, yeah, I think religion is, is the true enemy of freedom and progress. And uh, as long as there's a desire for freedom, there's always going to be religious zealots who want to put a chokehold on it until religion dies out. I think it will eventually. What do you think?